This week, we're going to look at the soft palette and the pharynx. So let's kind of review um, our anatomy. So here's your nose, here's your mouth, and when you look inside the mouth, the French part of the roof of your mouth is known as your hard palate. Okay, so that's your hard palate right there. It has some bone. And then the back part, you can see there's no bone here, is the soft palate. How many of you have um, ever experienced, um, you know, when you drink like milk or juice or pop or something, and then it comes out of your nose? Sometimes, right? Like when you're laughing um, and you, or you're not, you know, paying attention uh, properly, whatever you're drinking can sometimes come out of your nose. And the reason for that is because if you look um, at this picture over here, let's say I'm drinking uh, water, for example, okay, or milk. Okay, so I'm drinking milk and it's going down. It should go down the esophagus. But what's happening sometimes is if, I, if I'm laughing as I'm drinking, my soft palate, the muscles in my soft palate is not able to close this area. And so if this does not lift up and close this area, the milk can really jump up and come out of our nose. So there are muscles within our soft palate that kind of closes this area so that the milk that I'm drinking actually goes down. Okay, so we're going to be looking at different muscles that are used in the soft palate. We're also going to be looking at different muscles that are used in the pharynx. And the pharynx is this over here. So this whole area over here, which has the nose, you know, which is part of your nose, part of your mouth, and part of your uh, larynx or your voice box is the pharynx. So there are some muscles over here that um, one of the things the muscles do in the pharynx is that it will open up this area. And when it opens up this area, it's easier for the food to go down, right? So one of the things it does, it dilates or opens up. And there's so many other things too that we'll look at. So let's start with the soft palate. Okay, so again, this is the hard palate over here. This over here is your soft palate. And then we're going to look at the pharynx, and the pharynx is three sections or three parts. There's the nasal pharynx, which is this area over here that's close to the nose. There's the oral pharynx, which is this area over here that's close to the oral cavity or the mouth, right? Aura, um, oral cavity, and oral come from oral cavity. Nasal come from nose. And then we're just going to call this the laryngeal pharynx, or the lar yeah, the laryngeal pharynx, which is known as... Um, Part of the area where the larynx or the voice box is. This is where our, our sound comes out from. So there are five muscles, okay, five muscles of the soft palate. And when we were saying what the function of the muscles are, is that it basically helps move the soft palate up and back. And what that means is that if you look over here, see how the soft palate is hanging down? Well, you need it to come up, you need it to lift up and kind of block the nasal cavity. So it seals, another function of the muscles of the soft palate is that it seals the nasal cavity. It closes this area so that we don't get food or drink coming out of our nose. So what are those muscles that help us do that? Well, one of the muscles is called the palatoglossus muscle. So let's look at this. Palato comes from palate. So this is your palate. So that means the muscles are starting um, in the palate. And it's ending near the glosses, and glosses is another word for tongue. So if you look at this muscle here, it's where the palate is, and it kind of goes down and laterally or you know, towards the side, and it goes towards the tongue. Okay, so it starts at the palate, and it kind of ends towards the tongue, and it's on both sides. And what does this do? Well, it narrows the space between the left and right anterior fascial pillars. So... These over here, what we're looking at are pillars, okay? And basically, when we want to swallow, we kind of want to, you know, squeeze these muscles in like so. Okay, so we squeeze those muscles in like so. And how does, and that allows the food to kind of go in, you know, the food can go down more. So these muscles, the palatoglossal muscle, glossus muscles, they kind of squeeze the area over here, the pillars over here, so that the food can go down. We're also um, going to look at a different soft palatal muscle, which is known as the palatopharyngeal muscle. And again, let's look at this word. So palato, that means it starts at the palate. And then <coughs> pharyngeal comes from the pharynx, which is like this area over here, right? This is your pharynx. So it's just a muscle like this. And what it does is it basically narrows this area over here so that we can swallow. We can um, swallow our food. 
the uvula is right here and there are muscles over here that also help with um, us swallowing. Now this is actually an interesting muscle, an important muscle. This is known as the levator valli palatini. Levator valli palatini is a cell muscle of the soft palate. And what um, it does is it's actually pretty self-explanatory. It elevates the soft palate. So see how we have the soft palate here? If we want to bring it up, okay, so if we want to bring it up, we use the levator valli palatini. So this muscle over here allows the soft uh, palate to come up. We also have the tensor valli palatini, which is this one over here, and it also kind of tenses or like um, squeezes uh, the soft palate muscle. Okay, so all of these help seal the nasal cavity. All of these help with the swallowing as well. Okay, so again, the muscles that are used for the soft palate are all of these over here. We have the palatoglossus, which kind of goes around the tongue. We have the palatopharyngeus muscle, which is over here. We have the levator valli palatini, which lifts up the soft palate, and the tensor valli palatini, which tenses the soft palate. But all of these muscles, as long as, as as well as the uvula muscle, they all help with the swallowing of food, and they all help seal the nasal cavity so that food does not go up and come out of our nose.